people, it's been a while. I have been in hospital for, um, or I have been for like three weeks one day. I just got out like three days ago. Um, I thought I was going in to a &E overnight. Um, so I took Mishka with me, um, but I took a friend with me to help take her out for the toilet because I couldn't walk. I had a lump in my left leg where I have long-term complications from old blood clots. But it started spreading up my leg and then it started spreading across my punani and I was like, right, this isn't good. I need to go to hospital. But basically, as soon as the doctor saw me, she was like, I think you need surgery. She went and got a surgery person, a surgical person. They were like, yep, you need surgery, urgent. Like, it might even be during the night. So my dog had to go home. So it was really lucky I took someone with me because I don't know what would have happened if I didn't. But then they took me up to a surgical ward. Um, next morning, someone came and offered me soup. Well, not the morning, like, I couldn't sleep all night because I was in so much pain. So I started sleeping in the morning. It was lunch time, they woke me up and asked if I wanted soup, and I was like, I'm not allowed to eat. And they were like, you're not, you're not getting surgery. I was like, what? All that? Like, you scared the shit out of me. They drew on my fucking punani. And they drew an arrow on my leg as well. I sure what side it was. I was like, it's like a big red lump. If it's surgery, people, like, the surgeon can't see which side they're supposed to be operating on. Probably need a new job. <laughs> but, yeah, they said I didn't need that anymore. But they kept me on the surgical ward for two and a half weeks for IV antibiotics. I love that word so much. Like the staff were so so nice. I'm gutted that like the 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 really nice ones were only in the first three days, and then I only saw one of them after that. And then they moved me up to general medicine because it turned out I was type one diabetic, and like I'd been passing out of my food and stuff, and I've been drinking like anything and everything. I was going down to shop and buying like loads of bottles of juice, like bottles of milk, um, drinking loads of jugs of water. Drinking tea, drinking milk with the ward. Like when they would come round for the tea trolley and say, Do you want a cup of tea? I'd be like, Can I have tea and milk? Because one cup of tea is not enough. Um, But then they were like, It's the morphine. You've got, you're going to have to quit your morphine because it's not normal to pass out like that. And I was like, It's not the morphine. I'm prescribed opiates on a daily basis. It's not the morphine. And they were like, We're going to cut it down. So then I was back to being freaking agony. Like the first four days, they only gave me paracetamol. And I was like, Nearly crying. And I was doing screaming even. Uh, so it was basically back down to that. They cut my morphine to 2.5 mils every two hours. It was doing nothing. But then thankfully they found out I was type 1 diabetic and that's why I was passing out. So they put my morphine back up. Um, but then they told me I needed a central line. I was like, you're not paying fucking needles on my chest. Like, you just try to go Marty's and my wrist. And you couldn't do that. So I was like, you're not putting needles on my chest with cavity and my wrist. Um, turned out I didn't need that either. But now I'm on insulin. I have nurses coming round twice a day. But that's just temporary. I think tomorrow might be the last day. Um, and also, this is actually why I wanted to make a video. Like for people who have watched lots of my videos in the past and seen like this, and they're like, I've got no teeth. I got them. Um, Let's see. Cat ho ho. Ah, hello. Can't talk in them yet though. That's why I'm doing the video without them. Uh, um, yeah. I need to. Hang on. I can even show them properly. Do that. I can smile again. I just can't talk. I talk like Bugs Bunny. I can't say S's. <laughs> so yeah. Ah. It's gonna take a while to get used to them. And I have to take them out to eat because I don't want to get them on lanky. So I just scrub them with a little brush. Like. It's, like, it's, like, it's like double toothbrush. I've got to brush my own teeth. The few that I have left. And then I've got to brush them. So I'm gonna just try and keep them clean. I don't like these wire bits. I don't know. See? You wire it, like that goes around my teeth and that doesn't seem good like that's gonna cause more damage but anyway thank you for watching i'll probably do a proper update video thingy on hospital all the hospital stuff and my new diabetic um diagnosis but that's it for now because my storage about to run out so thanks for watching and farewell stay safe people and subscribe if you haven't already bye